floor to our co-chair of the Social Economy Intergroup, Sven Giegold. The floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Victor. And uh, thank you, Patricia and uh, Juan Antonio, uh, Monica. This is just great to see all the names in the chat from well-known um, cooperatives, social businesses and their associations participating in that debate. And I think the debate is just timely. So the European Union, after the, the elections, has chosen for a new lead strategy, the, um, the Green Deal. And now the big question is, uh, how will we finally implement the Green Deal? And their social and solidarity uh, businesses and economy has an important contribution to make. And I would uh, like to open this with a bit provocative statement saying, well, if you have enterprises which by their own constitution have more objectives than just making money, just growing, this is in itself an important signal in a, in a world where uh, scarcity uh, has to be taken seriously. Obviously, our imagination uh, doesn't have to be run by planetary boundaries, but endless growth in a limited planet uh, is in attention, at least, uh, with each other. And businesses whose objective is to, um, to be, make uh, the owners on the stock market happy in a quarterly manner are by their nature different than the economy, than the businesses we, are, we have represented here. They have other objectives than just making money. And this is why the social and solidarity economy is an important contribution to the big shift in the way how our economies function and this is why it's so important that Europe, with its common market, sets the right framework for just these enterprises to thrive. And therefore, the main objective for me, at least in this hearing, is to listen to you, to learn from you. Where is Europe supportive for you and where is Europe an obstacle? How do we have to do better? so that cooperatives, associations, social businesses, foundations uh, have the same chances to, uh, to be on this common market than other companies. And this is why it's so important to learn from you what we should put into the legislation when it comes to the Green Deal on the one hand and on the action plan for the social economy which we are expecting for next year as well. So please list us your experiences with EU legislation, uh, European institutions, which with member states when they are implementing European law. Give us your examples so that we can help you to change European funding, European legislation. We are a cross-party intergroup. We have the potential to organize a space across party lines to help social and solidarity business to grow. And therefore, we need your experience and please share it with us during this seminar in writing later on. And in order for us to be the right framework, to be your lobby, so to say, in on the Brussels stage. And this why why we are now in listening mode looking forward uh, to your contributions. And great to see Maya here in this webinar. Thank you very much, Sven. And I think that uh, the social economy community has to be very well aware of the, of the important role of the social economy intergroup to, to defend our interests and to mainstream, to promote the development of the social economy across the European Union. So thanks to all the MEPs that form, to the co-chairs, to the base chairs, and to the more than 80 MEPs that form this, uh, this intergroup, because they are fundamental uh, to promote another way of doing businesses in the European Union.